Good morning, it's the video you have all been waiting for. It is Home Bargains Christmas. I have got a Christmas jumpsuit on today. I'm out early and ready to go and look at all the fun Christmas stuff. If you're new to the channel, my name is Emma. Make sure you subscribe, we do hauls and chats and also kind of vlogs as well. And we just got a new puppy. My husband is working from home today. So he's at home puppy sitting because believe you me, that girl is crazy. Um, it's like having a baby and a toddler all at the same time it's a lot so yeah i'm gonna have a little look around home bargains i will do a voiceover when i get home because home bargains is notorious for having very loud music um so i'll have a little mooch row and all the stuff i am looking for stocking fillers i'm also looking for bags to put um presents in like gift bags and little boxes and stuff maybe get some decorations i don't know i'm just gonna have a little look around the halloween stuff was great this year so i have high hopes for the Christmas stuff and I'm hoping that it's not all you know picked over and there's some stuff left so let's go in let's have a little look and then let's go home and I'll show you all my festive bits and pieces insert um festive joy here when you first enter home bargains you are shocked by the amount of festive smelly stuff and cleaning stuff they have peppermints of flora Apple Spice Flash. They've got it all, guys. It's such a good range this year. They've also got some amazing stocking fillers. I also think these make really, really fab Christmas presents for teachers. I picked a couple of the hand washes up, and you can use these again next year and pop, you know, kind of like the recyclable bags of hand washing. They've got lots of pyjamas, not too many Christmas versions, but they had a nice friend set. They also had some kind of nice chenille sets. And you know I love a spot and a leopard print. And they had both of those. My little girl really, really wants a ring light for Christmas. And they had quite a few on offer. They kind of was like a whole, I would say, teeny tweeny section of presents with some really, really good ones. For example, they had like macaron bubble bar, um, you know, bath fizz, bath bombs. They had body sprays. They had all sorts of things that you can pop in stockings or really nice presents for your nieces or nephews. So thought these were great. They look really pretty and I just thought they had a really, really good range. Then we go to the beautiful nutcrackers and the teddy bear nutcrackers stole my heart. Look at his little face. They had some angels and also some giant nutcrackers. Always good for the side of your fire. If you've got a fireplace, really love this cute little pink section. They have all the Christmas decorations set out in themes. Though this was kind of like a pink pastel theme, which was really, really adorable. Really, really like this. Nice kind of candy cane vibes. They also have a really nice metallic section with silvers and whites and golds lots of sparkles quite similar to what we've got in our living room really our tree is kind of in a metallic white sort of theme we've got two trees the other tree looks like a shop disney has thrown up on it which is fine and i adore it they also had a brilliant red section and i will say you must pop into home bargains sooner rather than later as a lot of this stuff will go i love the popcorn hanger and i really laughed at this home bargains hanger really 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 made me giggle i just thought it was such a funny christmas decoration love the red car as well really like this candy cane kind of um strip which i actually picked up for my kitchen then i turned a corner and i gasped when i saw four Christmas Disney glasses, just randomly on its own. Didn't see any other Disney Christmas stuff in Home Bargains. I know there is a lot in Tesco and Asda. I was looking for some mugs, but they didn't really have many Christmas mugs. Really like these little jars, kind of wished I'd picked up that sweetie one. And then I went round the corner to the candles, and I will say that the Home Bargains candles are lovely. They are a very, like, delicate fragrance, so not as strong as Yankee Candle, but still pretty great to have on in your house of course i had to pop to the dog section and look what i was going to get our little puppy margot for her very first christmas and you will see later in the video i have a slight accident with a christmas present for margot 
Let's not discuss that. They also have a lot of Elf on the Shelf stuff. If that's something you like to do with your kiddos, we do. He comes on the 1st of December and causes all sorts of trouble. Loads of crafts. They had a few kind of books and sticker activities and all in all, super impressed with Home Bargains. Well done. Love it all. Let's have a little look at the haul. Well, hello, my friends. I am back. Oh my gosh, home bargains. I've got a little puppy looking at me. Hello. Hello. I'll show you the puppy in a bit. Home bargains was absolutely ramadama ding dong. It was so full for such an early time. And as I thought there was a lot of festive music in the background. If you hear a little pitter patter and it's a tiny little puppy. Right, let's dive in. I've not organised this. I'm just pulling stuff out of the bag and showing you. They had loads of Christmas stuff. I was really impressed. They had some really cute ranges, especially if you are looking to do like a candy cane theme or if you are looking to do like pinks and reds. Beautiful. So, speaking of candy canes, I love these candy canes and I will probably go back and <laughs> squeaking little puppy i will probably go back and buy some a few more of these because i like to put um one of these in each of the little cards that the kids send to their class and also i generally make like a um which i'll probably do in a video like a little little tiny gift hamper for the teachers with like mugs and stuff in and i usually fill them with some candy canes they're cute I've got this, which I thought would be amazing for my Disney Christmas tree, because I have a normal tree and a Disney Christmas tree. You're not going to eat this. So I thought this was really nice. Very glittery. Lots of glitter everywhere from that, guys. I picked up this. I like to have a bead diffuser in our downstairs bathroom and also in our laundry room. This is what I like to have. And laundry, that made me sound like I've got like a massive, in my um, laundry um, floor, I've got a tiny cupboard with a tumble dryer and a washing machine, but I love it. So gingerbread, we'll let you know how it smells. I've currently got one from Yankee Candle actually, which is very, very, very strong. And these don't tend to be as strong. So if you like a subtle scent, I would definitely go for this range over the Yankee Candle. I picked up some gift bags, which is one of the things that I wanted to get. So it was a pack of three for one forty nine. I got um, just some uh, Christmas pattern and then like a nice, just a bit more of a grown up pattern. You can probably get them for 99p maybe, uh, not 99 pound and pound land, but perhaps, ooh, ooh, perhaps not quite so big. Put that on there. It's all falling apart. Also got this fill this with presents. Looks a bit like a, I thought that was cute. Got that, that was 49 pairs, that's good. And then they have so much, woo, so much festive cleaning stuff. It was bananas, like loads. The most amount of festive cleanings I've ever seen in my life ever. So I've got Spice, Apple and Cinnamon Limited Edition Glade. Sorry, distracted. I thought she was chewing on a receipt. She's not. I, um, you'll see some other cleaning stuff. Picked up one of these to Stephen and I today because I thought, do you know what? Treat yourself. Tiny little, you get these in Poundland as well. Tiny little selection box with the Twix Maltese from Mars and the Milky Way. I thought, kids are at school. We can go, we can go wild. I like to get the kids festive socks to go with their matching pajamas for, um, Christmas Eve. Then Christmas Eve, the kids will get. Uh, we all get like new pyjamas to go to bed in and we all get some festive socks. So I picked up some of these. I got Ethan a little elf. I got um, Erin and I little Rudolphs because she's got bigger feet. She's got quite big feet as Erin really. And I got for Stephen, um, a, oh no, hang on. Oh gosh, I got two different ones. It doesn't matter. Erin can choose whichever one she wants. She'll probably want those. I don't know actually. Maybe reindeers aren't her aesthetic. I also picked up some big candy canes because I like to make milk um, hot chocolates at Christmas and I like to have candy canes poking out of them. So I got these, love them. Never put them on the tree because my children will just continuously ask if they can eat candy canes, which is frustrating. You know I always get Stephen for Christmas, for Valentine's, 
Father's Day, for his birthday, for any situation, any scenario, we always get some comedy socks. So I picked him up some Merry Grinchmas socks, which I thought was good, which is one, two, three, four, five. That's so fun. And he will wear these all year round. He ain't just wearing these on Christmas Day, he's wearing them all year round. I also picked up for me, we are hoping to go to Disneyland Paris uh, over Christmas. That's the plan, but as we know, recently plans have been changing for us left, right and centre. So um, I picked up some thermal socks because I like to have warm feet. Really is that simple. I also got a dog a bed, but you can't see it, just a plain dog bed. Um, we're going to have a discussion now, me and you. I think these are the best, without a shadow of a doubt, hands down, the best Christmas cakes in the business. The I, lay I present to you the festive Bakewell, Mr Kipling's finest. It's £1.49, but I think they're only a pound in Poundland. These are... Are you going to tell me it's just a bake all that the cherry on? You are right. But I love them. Me and my friend Jocelyn, we love them. And she's actually coming to my house this week to see the puppy. And I will present her with a festive bakewell. And we can get Christmas started the right way. Yeah. I got some um, festive hand wash. These can be kept for next year and refilled. But those are really cute. I'll probably have one in the downstairs bathroom. And one in the... Um, Hang on, wait that. I think she's going to do a poo. Wait, wait, wait. You okay? Hello. Oh no, you did a little wee wee. Daddy's not watching. Say hello to your friends. Say hello. Say Merry Christmas from Margot. She um, just weed on the rug. It's fine. It's puppy days. And also, Daddy's in charge of you today, so it's his fault, so he gets to clean it up. <laughs> I love you so much. Look at that face. I'm definitely going to do a little Christmas Margot video, a day in the life of Margot. Oh, she yawned and bit my hand at the same time. Where well, you go play? I love you. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, people. And she's down. Just a little bit of wee on the road. Why do dogs always wee? I, my whole downstairs is wooden floors. Couple of rugs, always wee on the rug. I got some tissues, because I like to have tissues. Because my eyes water quite a lot, which is frustrating. Um, what else did we get in our bag? Secret toy for the puppy. To put in her stocking. Am I doing stockings to my dog? Lucy um, Easter, who's had, if you're new here, she's our dog that, that passed. She loved, she loves, like anything with wrapping paper, Lucy was like all over it. She loved it, she'd just be there. So I'm hoping that Margot feels the same. Right, here's our Christmas smelly stuff. We have, sorry, I keep going in and out of focus every time I bend down. Apple spice flash. Festive AF. We have. What's this? Oh, I bought some sprinkles because the kids want to do bacon. They usually have Christmas sprinkles. They didn't have any Christmas sprinkles, so I was a little bit disappointed. So we didn't have. But we have the finale Frosted Peppermint Zaflora. I am not sure. Should we smell it? Can we smell it, puppy? I'm not sure what this is going to smell like, but I thought this sounds like it could smell the dream. I've got to be careful because obviously it's quite. It does smell of peppermint. I can confirm that. I can't confirm if that will be nice on the floor, but it does smell like a candy cane. And I just need you all to know. I dropped, I dropped on the floor the Christmas reindeer for Margot's Christmas present, which she's now playing with, so I'm going to have to rethink that. Have you got your Christmas present? Do you want to bring it with you? Say Merry Christmas. Christmas present. <laughs> 
put you on the floor to play with it. So that is um, a bit of a a bit of a balls up by me. Never mind, there you go. <laughs> She's playing. <blame. laughs> so there we go, guys. There is our festive home bargains. Uh, come shop with me and haul. I'm hoping very soon all this will be decorated. I mean, I'm going to decorate. It. I said that like I'm. Oh, Steve, just pass us those cups, those glasses, Steve. Yeah. I need. I forgot the best thing. Thank you. When I tell you, you can't hear on the video, but when I tell you, when I walked around the corner and I saw these in Home Bargains, I went like this. <gasps> $2.99 for um, Disney Christmas glasses. I gasped. I was shook us. I was hoping there was going to be some Christmas Disney Christmas mugs in there, but this was the only, literally the only Disney thing that I saw in there. So I was so pleased. Okay. Yeah, as I said... I'm hoping I will be decorating soon. So, and this will all be done, and that will all be done, and it will be so festive. So, um, thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you for another upload in another few days. Hoping to go to the garden centre, because you know I like to go to the garden centre at Christmas, see all the trees, and we like to buy our little tiny home, don't we, for my tiny home collection. Because when I'm older, I want to be the nan that has the house with the whole Christmas village. Okay.